Hey, if you like anything we do on the channel, consider checking out our Patreon and maybe supporting us. It's the only way to ensure that the channel stays alive and you can get a bunch of rewards for it. Check out patreon.com slash music for more info. When I was a kid, we had those wall-mounted... You know those wall-mounted ones? The I know the invasive that, thought that to put like, your dick into it. Yes. Welcome to the podcast. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> actually, that makes... I, actually, that, that, kind of, that kind of follows with what I was going to say. There was a kid who would constantly be like, excuse me, miss, I need to go sharpen my pencil. And then she would be like, okay, go sharpen your fucking pencil. Don't need to, don't need to say it. And then she, she, he just, she said it just like that. Yeah. And then he would just get up, go to the pencil sharpener, which was like at the front of the class. And he would just take his wiener out. No, he wouldn't. I don't believe you. I, <laughs> yes, I, he didn't it, do that. Dude, there was you, a kid dude. in my fourth grade class who was as wide as I am tall and he would walk up to the wall mounted pencil sharpeners and rip them off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. And like he would just That's go awesome. every class he would rip them off the wall and they would replace them and re-screw them back every day and every day he would rip them off the wall and they never sent him to the principal's office. It was just like a, I'm going to rip this oh, off the wall now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god one of, one of my friends like did you guys ever have like awkward like i feel like that was that's the equivalent of water cooler conversation in like elementary oh, school or whatever you call it well, it's when two people at the sharpener. same time sharpen their pencils and they just they're both yeah. just standing there and one time me and one of my <laughs> friends like we had already had these interactions where like we just were both sharpening our pencils and the entire class is quiet so we just both sharpened our pencils in complete silence. But this was like the third time this week that it was the both of us again. So we're sharpening our pencils. And then he looks me, looks at me and he goes, Ed, how's your mom? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> We're in an adult conversation. Yeah. How, is, how is your mom? How is your mom? And the entire class was dead silent. And people start bursting laughing, including Dude, the teacher. So weird. That was his attempt at small talk. <laughs> and he still does it to this day. Sometimes I'll meet up with him. Bro, you'll meet we're up both with 25. Like sharpener. No, we're both 25. I'll shake his hand at a bar and he'll be like, How's your mom? <laughs> <laughs> That's Just scarred awesome, us for life. Though. He's such a fucking moron. Dude. <laughs> How's we your should mom? bring back we should bring back like pencil sharpening. <sighs> we don't yeah. need to. I feel, like, like I feel like pens drove talk. them out of business. Fucking Big mechanical pen. pencils put my granddad out yeah. of business. It's mechanical pencils now. All these kids got the mechanical pencils. No need mm. for sharpeners. Also, I'm pretty sure the uh, pencils went out of business when the entire lead industry was uh, uh, monopolized by G Fuel. There was never lead in there. There was never lead in pencil lead. It was graphite. It's graphite, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, either way, it, it all went into G Fuel. They've all been like surrounding the big G Fuel tank and fucking. That's what the G, G Fuel actually stands for is graphite. Hey, thanks, Ed. There goes graphite that fuel. sponsor. Yeah, oh, no, fuel. David. Oh, I killed no, your not G, the G Fuel sponsorship. sponsorship. G for lead. We'll no. always have gamer stuff. The, <laughs> the G stands for Gled. <laughs> when are they bringing back Halo 3 Game Fuel? Don't Such even start cherry. me on that shit. I well, three four three it. certainly isn't bringing it back. Am I right, boys? <laughs> <laughs> they should give it to Remedy instead. They should give it to the fans. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just like Space Base DF Nine. Yeah, Halo belongs to the fans, <laughs> not Bungie, not three four three. <laughs> me, me, the, the fans. fans eating my fucking. <laughs> no, I re I like referring to yourself as the fans. Me, the fans. Happy coming out day, everybody. Welcome Yay. to the podcast. Happy coming my out, name's everyone. David, go back, Sir Meow. And today we're joined by. Yeah, hey, I'm Brayden. Yeah. I'm uh, 29 years old, and I was an alcoholic. <laughs> I was about to say that we all go hi, friend. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Brendan. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, my name is Julian Noodle. I am an alcoholic. I guess we just skip Mandy. <laughs> and Punk Duck. Smite. What? Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hey, I'm I'm Lord Mandalore Gaming. I'm an alcoholic. 
And welcome to Alcoholics Anonymous podcast. And let's welcome our sixth host. You, the audience, our sixth <laughs> friend. You, the our girl reading this. Friend, <laughs> our sixth friend. Let's get this the real parasocial owner, PST, relationship the fans. started. My goal the, is to I like mean, just grab random PST fans out of the of the PST Discord server and just stick them in here and then just ask them why. I mean, why? get them on here. Ask them why. Don't make that as a promise. No, Please. totally, dude. It'll just call. So. Uh, it, it'll be a new PST thing. We'll call it uh, Paris Social Talking. No, nah, pedestrian <laughs> start. Talking. No, Paris, We're gonna go to the Paris streets. Social Therapy. Yeah, like pedestrians Ooh. start talking. Yeah, pedestrians start talking. We go to the oh, streets. We, we get a microphone. We just ask people why. All oh, like Billy on the street, but it's Brendan on the Grove. Yeah, I'll, uh, they, 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 I'll ask them why. Let's they'll say, say why Brendan what, and I'll grove. say I'll ask them why, and they'll say why what, and I'll say I buried my son today, and then I'll walk away. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can just start flossing. You're like a fucking Ugh. kindergartner. Whenever they find out that you, they can be annoying by being like, yeah, uh, just say why to anything, and then just oh, keep going. Sad. I don't think I don't think kindergarten gardeners know that they are being annoying. I think they're just no, they figure it out. They why. know that oh, they're being definitely. annoying. When I was a kid, I like mastered like doing one Why? silly voice so I could run around and yell, mm, I exactly. like pie, and I would repeat it ad nauseum constantly. Yeah. I used to do this really annoying thing to my sister where like I'd go down the Y flow chart of like getting like an answers out of her that like by the end of it meant fucking nothing to me. I just wanted right. to see how far I could I could yeah, drive her insane. Everyone, everyone and then, did that. No, but Julie, the best part is I if I got to the end of the flow chart and she just said and she just ended it with and I don't know, I'd say, Yes, you do, and you don't want to fucking tell me. <laughs> <laughs> You're a scumbag. <laughs> and then I'd get her in trouble. <laughs> you get her in trouble. Yeah, because I'd be like, my sister's being mean to me. She won't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I literally learned English to spite her. What? How? I, what? I, I only knew Portuguese and French, and we had a babysitter because my parents didn't like me. <laughs> and my sister and my babysitter used to talk in English all the time so, so she could talk about boys because she, she's seven years older than me. And she was like saying shit that my feeble mind couldn't comprehend. But I kept trying to eavesdrop when they were speaking French, and then they switched to English. And I was like, Fuck you. I'm going to learn English just to piss you <laughs> off. <laughs> and it worked. And then they had to fire that lady. She was stealing. Oh. Yeah. Just Check money or like stealing, stuff? Huh? No, money and like, uh, like cutlery and jewelry went missing. Cutlery? Yeah, it was weird. She also did cutlery? this Who's weird thing. cutlery in the 21st century? Yeah, what the fuck? She, she was doing this weird thing where like... I, it might have been to troll my mom. She might have been playing like the dumbest con known to man. <laughs> Every time my mom came home, she swore up and down that the knives were bending. Like they were slowly becoming askew. Why? And I, what? How? <laughs> they were fucking what? That is so weird. What the no, fuck? I, I think every time my babysitter would leave, she would bend the knife just a little bit to the left, like every at the end of what? every day. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> you have. I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm gaslighting this family into thinking they have a psychic field. Maybe. No. Maybe thought she that, thought she'd get me in trouble. I don't know. Maybe she thought that by <laughs> by accusing the knives of bending, she could. Uh, she could distract people from the actual thievery oh, she was from committing. The jewelry. No. To be but, fair, but, she was our babysitter they, for like ten years. Why? It took her ages to figure out jewelry okay, was missing. Okay, but why? Why would she steal cutlery and then be like? Oh shit! The cutlery's bending on its own. <laughs> like what the fuck? Is so she you wouldn't stupid? miss it as much, I guess, because yeah, always bending yeah, anyway. Because then they would, they, instead of focusing on the missing cutlery, they would only always focus bend. on the knives bending. Yeah. <laughs> would she go and bend the knives herself? David, think about it. Why does every magician have a hot assistant? You need the distraction. You need the honey pot. The bent That's knives. That's why magic doesn't exist for gays. Is it like elves I'm an alcoholic. or something? You see the world differently. <laughs> Sorry, Mandy, what you say? Oh, I was saying that, like, gay people not being able to see magic, is that like elves in Lord of the Rings and how the world is flat for them only? <laughs> is that real? <laughs> what yeah. What the fuck are you saying? What? Yes. 
Dude, every time and, I learn Lord of the Rings, weird, God like, punished mankind by making stuff. the world round, but only for them. <laughs> what the fuck, <laughs> what the fuck does what that you, mean? What do you mean what? he punished? How is that a punishment? Because they were they're fucking around the west, so he went fuck you. The world is round for you, and it remains flat for the elves. That's why the elves can sail out west for the Undying Lands, and people can't. <gasps> did you ever wonder why elf? Why, did you also <laughs> wonder why Legolas? Whether like, what do your elf eyes they, see? It's because the world is flat for him still, and he could see farther. No fucking shot. Are you that is so me? stupid. What? <laughs> the world is exclusively flat for elves. No fucking. I thought he just way. had good eye. Yeah, but the world is also it, flat for him, so he could see a lot farther over the horizon. Oh my, that is what? So what do your elf eyes see? There is no curvature. I want to yeah. see the fucking. I want to see the flat Earth cut of Lord of the Rings now. I mean, you, you've seen it. Holy fuck. Art- no, that's because amazing. the earth isn't flat. The that's why the people flat. are like, we can't to... get to the Undying Lands because it goes around for them, but the elves go straight there because the world, world is flat for them. I, th- I think I'm going to have a heart attack. That is, that, <laughs> I, that is such a, that is a level of like... So stupid. You know when people say like, we, you know when you watch like a movie or consume any type yeah. of fucking yeah, I do that. media and then you just learn, you, like... You just learn something, and after learning it, you're like, <laughs> "You learn that Legolas I, I, is a flat I, I, earther I, the entire this time, should and not, he's right." This should not, <laughs> like, you should have not explained that, but I'm glad you did. I'm. That's how I feel right now. What the fuck? <laughs> every every elf is a flat earther, so they see the truth. It's mm-hmm. Tolkien. Tolkien's dead, right? Oh, he's been dead forever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Damn. Dead. <laughs> Why are we gonna like, Why do you want to get him on? <laughs> You're gonna get no. him. I, I, do you I, want to I get just, him on the podcast? I, I, so I want to. I, I want to revive fucking Please stop Tolkien. Tolkien. I want to revive Tolkien's <laughs> skeleton and then just be like, and then just send him like a meme that's like, Legolas, what do your elf eyes see? And it's just him tweeting this. What? Like what the, is that? The sun oh is not ninety three billion miles away. It's moving. You're it's, not. It's this account that I've been following for ages. That's Research just a guy that, flat Earth. Yeah. Oh my God! What is is this a flat Earther Twitter? Yeah, it's a flat Earther Twitter that I've been following if for anybody, like three years. Oh my God! There's so much. <laughs> Think it's not illegal yet. Oh my god! Holy oh, shit! Good. People have made diagrams about the elf flat Earth. That's good. Are you shitting? Yo, me? Oh my god! It's real. Of course, it's real. It's exclusively <laughs> flat Earth for elves. Flat world versus round world. They made it round so that the people can't fuck around the Undying Lands anymore. Since Numenor fucked around and found out. I can't believe Tolkien invented inflation. I can't. <laughs> there's, a, there's a little X where Numenor died on the fucking <laughs> diagram. <laughs> <laughs> this is where he died. Oh my Third god! Did I, I, onward. I love this oh image. My god. Globe research, famous globe scientist, my dad. <laughs> my dad drinking a beer and beating up my fucking mom. Flat Earth research, writing flat earth on the beach. Yeah, writing research flat earth on the beach and a big laser pointer. Why is Never watching a movie globe the research? Power. Everything, everything happening tonight is so much. I, I can't believe I learned about so much cursed shit in like no time at all. Yeah, we haven't even talked about the stuff we were talking about before we started recording. We're not gonna. <laughs> we're Shut not. Up. We're not. Gonna Never <laughs> underestimate the power of planting a seed of truth in a fertile mind. <laughs> Don't use Shut the word. The fuck Don't off. use the word fertile. In this Please, moment, God. I'm euphoric. Not in this moment. This moment is an unfertile <laughs> moment. You do not say fertile. <laughs> this moment is barren. This is a certified unfertile this moment. This moment is barren. This is the driest shit you've ever seen. It's called a horizon line because it's I'm, a horizontal put, line and not a curvizon. <laughs> Shit, bitch, I only know about Verizon. What? This conversation is just... When you're flooding. surrounded by people who share the same set of assumptions we need as to you, put you start to think around. that's reality. Oh, sandbags. Are I got you, a story related to sandbags. Fucking... How? Uh, when there was a big flood <laughs> here, I helped sandbag a bunch of rich people's houses, and they didn't pay me. What is, what is sandbagging? Well, you put up one, well you there's two meanings for sandbagging. Either like grabbing bags of sand so that you help mm-hmm. houses during floods, or if you're a wrestler and an opponent tries to do a big oh move God. on you and you go limp, uh, that's called sandbagging. Oh, yeah. No, I do I do know... Th- I knew I do know that part, but how do how do sandbags help with floods? Uh, because they stop the wee Yeah, they stop the water. They break the water. Uh, keep like you put it around the house um, 
to basically oh. stop it from getting into the basements or to help it to stop getting to the basements. It's mostly it's mostly to keep it out of the basements because if it goes into the basement, that's just you, you're fine. Is, is that why like World War One trenches were covered in sandbags? It's to prevent Probably. like the trenches. I did that. Flooding. You're welcome. You were you're welcome. There. Well, no, no, I did that. That was to stop rounds because they could sort of do it, but not. If you put a bunch of sand up and it's thick enough, it'll stop bullets from back then. Really? But oh yeah, because they all had muskets. Only sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking muskets. They all have muskets. <laughs> in world, then World War One, then they invent like uh, g- guns that shoot fast. What are those called? Yeah, I played Battlefield guns? One. I know what I'm talking I, about. I, I want to say bam, assault bam, rifle, bam, but I feel bam. like an assault rifle is not what I want to say. Well, the Germans had carbines, but they didn't go as far because the um the Earth is flat for Germans. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Germans? Holy shit, Germans are elves? That's the takeaway yeah, here, yeah. I don't want to think about this anymore. <laughs> that, I don't want to think about Tolkien <laughs> being globe racist. <laughs> globe racist? Say the, say the word. Say what it is. I don't, it's so weird. You guys get the plane. You guys get the ball. Oh so my god. Stupid. Germans be like, listen carefully. Can you hear it? That's the sound of the earth not spinning. <laughs> <laughs> is there a sound of earth spinning? No, oh, I because guess, the earth is would it be spinning. Like wind? Idiot. Oh. Do you think flat right. earthers uh, like grab a copy of Terry Pratchett's Discworld, read like three sentences into it and start slamming it into their desks, screaming, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just ask Julian. He would I know. I think flat earthers see any curved object and start screaming. <laughs> Go to Chicago, see the bean shit pants. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, a great Chicago. Segue. Speaking of Chicago, that was a Speaking great of segue. Oh, Speaking oh, of shit. Chicago, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Just call um, that out, I, David. Then it will, wait, you'll seem I, extremely smart. You're so right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna base boost it. Anyways, <laughs> I have a, qu- I need to know because it's been fucking bugging me, and nobody is, has talked about it because we were saving it for the podcast. At one point, we split up. I don't remember why we split up, but you guys started talking to an Italian woman or something. What was oh, that? that, that was was when you were at the what does that mean? Yeah, that was. What does when, that mean? Because because Julian and a uh, Boo got to see an Oblivion encounter that I have usually. And I'm like, oh good, they're, they're here for this now. Because okay, someone else was there. I thought I've the only thing I've heard Charlie about was this there? entire. I don't think Charlie was. There. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. It's not relevant to the story. Yeah. Either way, we split up. And you guys kept talking about Oblivion Encounter without saying anything because you were saving it for the podcast. And it's been fucking bugging me because we didn't have time because we got too fucking wasted last time we talked about Chicago. A few I need to know. What the fuck is Oblivion Encounter? Isn't that he- just the guy that goes, hey, you three women? And then they turns no, out <laughs> with some birds? Yeah, that, basically. It's when you're just walking, minding your own business, and then... You're encountered with a strange person. Yeah. And they just, they want yeah. something from you. Yeah. And they start talking they, they, to you. She literally offered like me a, a quest and I was like, no, thank you. And we went back in. Wait, uh, but, okay. But what happened? We were walking back to the Airbnb and there was this old woman out in the front and <laughs> she looked at me and she went, they have my mail. I'm like, what are you doing? Oh <laughs> my God. She goes, they have my mail. The mailman, he, he should have been here, but he doesn't. He has my mail. Have you seen him? <laughs> like, no, I, I haven't seen him. I, I, I can't. I, 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 at the moment, at, at, see, at the time, this is just like, oh, strange person. But like listening to the words you're saying in that order and remembering that is exactly how they said them. That sounds like an NPC Psycho about shit. to yes. give you a quest. Because <laughs> she started offering it like, oh, like maybe maybe you could find him. Like, I. Uh, I, we don't live like this is an Airbnb. Took a dump. I I don't know. Added. Yeah, but she was she was a nice Italian lady, and she started um. <laughs> Mama mia. She started dropping a bit of Italian, and then she started guessing everyone's ethnicity. Oh <laughs> boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. That's li- awesome. Like she didn't push the calipers. Was it like racist or? I mean, I don't know. It's kind of hard to like guess <laughs> ethnicity neutrally, but. She went for it. She's pretty accurate. Most of us were also, most of us were white. But she like looked at Boo and she's like, ah, like, like you tall, like maybe, maybe Nordic. Like, oh, you look Italian too. I'm like, yeah, he's, he's quite large because he has Roman centurion genes passed down from like, 
passed through some strong breeding stock. And she's like, oh, okay. And she's like nodded sagely. Holy shit. Holy shit. You just there, I think there was devil. enough of a language barrier that I think like You could have said anything. Yeah, and no, like, oh. you you started using were uh, like that like <laughs> what did you say mandy because you lost me and i i understand you i'm still lost. Well, I, we said a lot of things say i knew like a bit of italian to say like very basic things to her like i was like i could say like oh that's nice i speak a little italian i don't speak much italian <laughs> it's cool. like oh ben, many many it's like yeah i have like two months of learning italian and phrases i learned from assassin's creed and that's about it <laughs> I could say Requiescat in passing. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't, wasn't going to say that to her. Because oh, fuck, uh, I wish I could remember who else was there. Because like she went around and was just like, ah. who was there? I don't. But was, I remember because Julian, wait, like, we was had stuff Buck there. We had audio stuff for the to set up our jank setup for the podcast recording. And like Julian was also like tired. He's like, we've got to get inside. And so he's like dropping hints, like, ah, you know, we gotta, like, oh, we should probably get going. And she looks at him, she's like, oh, I see, I see. You want to get away from crazy old lady. I see how it is. It, I, it's like whenever you end, like, uh, whenever you're talking to an NPC and you end the dialogue tree too early and they get ad and they're like, hey, I'm not done talking to you yet. <laughs> she called herself crazy old lady. Yeah, like, she did. She, she was sharp. <laughs> like, she knew what was happening. Damn. Yeah, she was but, Like, Julian's like, ah, trying to make an exit. And she's like, I see exactly what you're doing. <laughs> she knew you thought she was fucking crazy. I didn't you're, know. I didn't think she was crazy. So I just thought you're, she was weirdly talkative. And I wanted to fucking leave and sit down. <laughs> It was also my fault because, like, the second she started talking to us, I was so fucking happy. I was like, thank God, they'll they'll finally see it happening in person. So I kept, like, encouraging the conversation to continue. I'd be like, yeah. oh, tell me about those mountains. And she'd start telling <laughs> us about the mountains. <laughs> the mountains. It's like I need more information about the Citadel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I kept asking <laughs> what you need to like know. That. What can you tell me about where we are right now? Tell me about like, the oh, Reapers. It's like, oh, that lady up there is strange. It's like, yeah, she's she mean. She mean. Don't listen to her. Have you heard any of the she latest rumors? She was mean. She was she so was mean. mean. She was mean. Yeah. She kept yelling at me. I don't know why. Every time I went, I was outside like cooking. You have the gay hair. She would get I think so, that was like, dude. She would get. She would open her window and look down at me and be like, "Some people work." <laughs> and then she <laughs> no, the window I and her. like, and, and we weren't even. We were literally talking at like. The most normal, like, voice like this. On the 4th of July. On the 4th of July. And she would, she got so pissed. Dude, I, so I wanted rude. her to look down at you, see you, how, what Julian called the gay hair, and go, I know what you are. <laughs> what was it? I, I fucking wish. That'd be incredible. Oh, fuck. Unfortunately, she was not bigoted. She was just mean. No. What? Hey, that's worse. Hey, she was mean. We don't know that for sure. <laughs> well, yeah, you're right. My head canon is that they just decided not to show that side of themselves. I mean, she Come could on. have been. I learned a bit about the local election from Italian lady, but I forgot all the details of it now. Because I remember what? at one point. Yeah, because at one point I was just like trying to make this drag and seeing what I could get away with. So I was just asking like really generic questions. And at one point verbatim, one of my questions was, can you tell me about the latest rumors? And she went, <laughs> ah. And started telling me about the election of like, because we saw some signs for it, like in the grass. I don't know yeah, what it was yeah, for. Yeah. It was like I mean, a local, it was a, it, some local something. I, I think it was around like the municipality or something yeah. was having an election. Yeah. So yeah. I was just like, can you tell me about the latest rumors? And she went <laughs> off and started telling me about the election. <laughs> have you heard anything? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Do you have a job for me? I, I had, I had <laughs> one of those. No, I had two of those. I don't know what it is about me. I think I might have like, Aryan main character syndrome. Oh, I think I might have like Aryan Ubermensch looks, and then people like gravitate towards that. And was that bad? <laughs> Should I have said can that? You can you elaborate on this? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, it's probably fine. But I've had two moments where complete fucking strangers just come up to me and s just start saying shit. And I'm like, uh, uh, there was this one guy that was like a friend of a friend of my girlfriend that like no one knew. Like we wanted to have dinner with that girl, but she brought like some random guy. And you know how that girl and that guy knew each other? 
He had met her brother on Halo. <laughs> and now they were hanging out. Awesome. Huh. King shit. And, and and like I was like trying to talk to the guy because I was that, like that guy is the fans. Th- he is the fans. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was trying to talk to him because like I was there with my girlfriend. He was there with his friend's sister. And he was clearly not enjoying himself. So I was like, I'm going to try to like get some conversation out of this dude. So I was just talking, whatever. And then... Uh, What's your plans for the next Halo? And, th- and then I mentioned... <laughs> and then like, I don't know. I, I'm really... Fu- I really did this to myself. But like I mentioned... I think I mentioned like the gas prices or inflation, even though oh, I know nothing no. about this shit. Why? What? But then, but then, wow, they, but then the mean? guy's like... I, I look inflation. I, no, no. The, the the guy goes like, <laughs> oh, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know anything about that. I'm Canadian. And then I go like, oh, okay. Oh, all right. So you guys, so like, are you guys like chilling over there in terms of this? And he's like, no, not at all. The liberals are ruining our country. <laughs> Let's go. And, and then, and then I just looked at him. I went, oh, oh, are you guys and, like Australia where your liberal party yes. is actually your Right wing. Yeah. Oh wait, it is. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I feel like I'm having deja vu. I f- I feel like I've heard this before. I, I also feel similar. that way. But this is a common did I, thing. Did I already talk? Did I already talk about this? Not on the I podcast. I feel like no. no. Oh okay. But yeah. Th- but <laughs> but the, but the thing is. But the thing is, David I didn't say that when I said, "Oh, are you guys like Australia? Like your liberal party is your right wing party?" He went, "No, not at all." <laughs> and I just went quiet and went, "Oh." Which Halo do you play? <laughs> <laughs> but it is it is different. There's the conservatives Not in his that are mind. right and the liberal whatever. <laughs> to, dude. to him, to him, everything's flat. <laughs> I also wanted to quickly add the the second one that I had recently, and uh, this one was after the Canadian man incident. So I had learned from my mistakes. It was when me and Rexy were waiting for our train to Amsterdam here in Brussels, and we were speaking the Queen's English. So obviously we're going to attract tourists that are completely lost. And this lady, very old lady, comes up to me. Her husband looks very bored. And she just goes, excuse me, I got to ask, is this the train to Amsterdam? And I go, yes, ma'am. Yes, it is. It's uh, You got to check over here, blah, blah, this panel. And it's coming in like four minutes. She goes like, oh, bless your heart. Where are you from? Oh, I'm... I'm Portuguese, and uh, my friend over here is Canadian. And then I did like a thumbs down gesture, and then, and then she was like, what? and then she was like, "Oh, pff, he's fine. I am American. Now that's the real." And then she also oh, did a thumbs no. down gesture, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, for real." And then she goes like, "Like seriously, what is going on over there? Our politicians oh, no. are know. ruining the country." And I, my brain just started replaying what happened. <laughs> Chicago <laughs> so I went oh my god it is the wrong train I'm gonna go now <laughs> what, halo do you play? <laughs> what halo do you play <laughs> so I just fucking oh, dude, I left had, I had a weird encounter lately actually like a week ago cause um we've been having like problems with our electricity like how the panels and everything are they're really old and uh, they're sold. In fact, that if we get a fucking electrical fire, we're not insured. So that's really cool. And uh, we had an electrician come by. And that dude is... F- he, he was like... He just came by while I was folding laundry. I, I swear to God, every time somebody comes to like do renovations or anything, I'm always doing laundry and watching a really fucked up horror movie. Except he was okay with it. That wasn't the weird part. The weird part was Boo was still sleeping because Boo had like worked all night. So he he kind of like, he was just sleeping through the day. It was like 10, a, 10 a.m. or something. The electrician just, I, I show him the panel and everything and I kind of stay with him because he gives me weird, I'm going to steal your cutlery and tell you they're bending vibes. So, <laughs> so we're just there and he starts talking and he, and he's like, oh, is there somebody in that room over there? And I'm like, oh yeah, my friend is there. And he, he, dude, he read me like a fucking book. Cause he dead ass looked at me and said, oh, come on. You're telling me, you're telling me there's one bedroom and you're not a f- 
<gasps> and I was like, whoa! Ooh. Dude, I was like, holy shit, this dude is oh. crazy. And then he and then he turned it into actually being fucking um just awesome. Cause the guy was like, the guy started being like he started being like, dude, I fucking love gays. I I oh. live next to I live next to this artist. Do you know him? And then he just says this fucking random artist. I don't know who the fuck that is. Dead mouse. And I'm like, you oh, know, dead mouse. Oh, dead mouse. No. I'm just like, I'm, I'm just you know like about, no, no, uh, I've never heard of him. Oh, no, he's he, in Fortnite. No, he, it's a French Canadian like musician, and I'm like, dude, I I have oh I I don't know I don't know him at all. I'm sorry. And then he just. He just says like, dude. He has like, he has like, f f super famous gay orgies at his place. <laughs> Whoa. Next to me, and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's not about? like the cool art dude, he does. He has super famous orgies. It, dude, this that guy was so fucking weird. I, I wish I I, I should call, he gave me his card. I should call him back to be like, hey, what was the artist again that you said? Just so I can confirm. That they're famous orgies. <laughs> I just, just want to confirm these are gay renowned. orgies, right? These are gay orgies, and then <laughs> he was sure. like, "Yeah, they they keep fucking, and then they 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 go they go into my yard in my spa, and then they fuck there." But I, I'm okay with it. It doesn't matter. I don't mind that, dude. That guy was so crazy. <laughs> See, that's the, the kind of homophobe time. I want to be. He was so funny. I I I kind of like him because. He was just so funny because he kept being like, oh, I'm, dude, I fucking love f And I was like, dude, stop. You're not, just because just you say that doesn't mean you can say a, the slur. There goes, uh, there goes our sponsorship. No, no, it's fine. He'll black I'm, Albert I'm, it. It's I'm fine. black Alberting. Yeah. I can't believe black Alberting is just censoring now. Oh, yeah. But yeah, he, he was a weirdo. And uh, then he left and... Uh, he he spent like two hours, didn't fix anything, and left, and hasn't come back since. <laughs> Just came came in, called me a slur, and left. I love the idea of the grumpy old man neighbor who isn't homophobic. He'll just go outside, see the gay orgy in his lawn, and all he'll say is, "Hey, keep it down." <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't do that. He was he apparently not. Apparently, all he did was like, "Hey." Good shit. <laughs> like apparently he was super down with the orgies and stuff, and I was like, I, I was like, I, I I know you're lying to me. There's no way that's true, but like world that's famous such a orgies. World famous orgies is so funny. That, that reminds me of Belgian's famous Hungarian Ooh. gay orgy. Did you guys get that in the news? No. What? The, during like peak COVID times in October 2020, th this was like all over the fucking news here in Belgium. Um, it was like, you know, peak COVID, you can't have parties, you can't have gatherings outside of your bubble yeah. or like more than three people or some crazy shit. Outside of your bubble? Uh, yes, uh, that's the word they used. And, <laughs> and, you know, people were obviously still sneaking in parties and a bunch of like Hungarian dudes decided to like try to have like a party with every single gay guy in Brussels just like a massive fucking orgy because I don't know I guess they're trying to see if they could get away with it <laughs> uh, I, I, don't, I don't I don't know how Not for they sexual got... pleasure just because like what if we did can that? we do this yeah <laughs> can we Dude, do what this? Can, will we get away with this I, I do I do get it though like like there's there's a certain element of it being taboo that's just like oh man that's so fun mm, I really want to do I that I also I also just remembered at one point uh, actually during the entire time that the guy was there he was making a lot of noise and that woke boo up and I, I told <laughs> and boo was like Boo kept messaging me and being like, can I, should I get up? Is he gonna, is the guy weird? And I was like, dude, the guy's fucking crazy weird. And he, <laughs> at one point he was like, I can't hold it in. I need to go piss. And I was like, uh, uh, okay. Uh, he, Boo comes out and the guy sees how tall he is. And he just goes, whoa. And looks at me and goes like, he looks at me and goes, good shit. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, oh my god. 
<laughs> he was so funny. Look I at the that size guy. of that one. <laughs> is is boot is boot tall enough to the point where like people ask to take pictures with him? Because I used to have a seven foot tall coworker at GameStop, and people would walk up to him and be like, "Hey, can I take a picture with you?" Hasn't happened, but people always stop him and go like, "Ah, to bang And then he's like. Just like blankly oh, he doesn't staring because he yeah. doesn't speak French yet. I, I'm going to be real. I speak French. I have no I idea hope, what you I just said. I hope that never changes. <laughs> For yeah. his sake. <laughs> to a bang Tell Boo oh, I told him to okay. remain strong. Just very fast. Uh, I just want to add to that Hungarian orgy thing. So uh, yeah. big Hungarian gay orgy. Obviously, like it ends up making too much noise. And the cops get word of it, I think, from the neighbors or whatever. They get an anonymous tip, and they raid the fucking place. Uh, and then tons joined. of people get arrested. And then one of the neighbors goes, Oh my god! One of them's getting away through the fire escape! <laughs> and I'm what? just gonna post this article in general and read the headline at the same time. Okay. Joseph Sveyer, Hungarian MEP, quits after allegedly fleeing gay orgy. <laughs> oh my Holy god. Shit. He made MEPs? <laughs> no, 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 fucking. <laughs> Please. And you want to know the best part about your boy Joseph? He is a hardcore homophobic political candidate in That's Hungary. Oh, time. Dude. That is always Every that is always fucking time. It never ends. And yeah, he got caught banging 50 dudes. What a moron. 50, though. That's fucking impressive. The that biggest he thought he could Brussels. get away with yeah, that. Yeah, no, it, it broke records. It broke oh, so they, records. They did it then. They met their goal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, thanks, guys. We met our goal. 50 men. Most Hungarian MEPs present at Gay Orgy. That's not true. That's not true at all. Who am I kidding? Does Guinness have like a thing for uh, like most people having sex at the same time, or is that too? Uh, no, that's in Ridley's. That believe it or not, <laughs> that would, it would be there or not. <laughs> that, no. Ridley's. Believe it or not, is just fucked up and crazy. Guinness. Guinness at night. Guinness veers into the the yeah, realm of fucked up and crazy Guinness. Sometimes you get both of them at the Scholastic Book Fair, but the Ripley's Believe It or Not is like I need to get this one. This is the one that calls to me. I have a Guinness book like five feet away from me. It's like the 2008 Gamer Edition or something of it. Oh, I remember that when I was a kid. Holy shit! It has lots of incorrect information. It has Mario on the cover. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> well. Is it incorrect information now, or was it always no, incorrect? No, always though? incorrect information. Oh my god. Because with Guinness, you just like you can pay money to just get shit certified if no one cares about it because they won't come looking. And with gaming, oh. Guinness really doesn't give a fuck a lot of the time. Mm -mm. You know who cares? Me. The fans. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. So we were originally all of us getting together because this was Chicago part two. There is one other part of Chicago I wanted to touch on that didn't happen until after the recording, um, which I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> it, it still cracks me up just thinking about it because it's so fucking stupid. Oh, if y'all were if, if, if right. True fans will remember the uh, the Chaz ending true, true um, of the Chicago episode which we recorded after recording the main thing once half of us had passed out and the other half have, had sobered up a tiny bit. The the hangout in the Airbnb continued all around us, so weird shit just kept happening. At a certain point, very soon after the uh, podcast session had ended and uh, Mandy was, you know, full-on sick with it, um, he, decided, yeah. uh, he decided he'd do a funny little prank. Um, <laughs> I, I don't I'm, I'm trying to figure out the best way to tell this. Manny, this. do you want to like tell your side and then I'll tell you what we experienced? Right. So I was like, oh, they're going to come back for the Chaz recording. And at this point, <laughs> I'm sure Ed and I were on similar levels of being pretty cross faded. <laughs> no. I went, ha ha ha. Uh, when they yeah. come in, I should jump out and surprise them. Where should I hide? I went, oh, I shouldn't go in the closet. That's obvious. They might poke around in there. Why would we do that? So I went, oh, perfect. I'll I'll pull my bedspread off the bed, like the bed, <laughs> go into the corner and lay down and just throw it over myself <laughs> since there was like a pile of like uh, pillows and shit there already. I went, perfect. I'll just hide under these blankets and wait for them to come in and start recording. 
and I'll wait till they're like 15 minutes in and then I'm going to fucking get them. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I love how simple that is. So, that's it. So, um, we wait a good while because, um, you know, the party's busting, people are having fun. But eventually I, I track down Chaz and I'm like, hey, it's time. You, It's time for the funny. Let's let's get recording. And we uh, we do it. We set up the recording. Um, it takes about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes in total after I set up the binaural audio setup. And uh, the thing is, it was in a different room. So... <laughs> We finish the recording, come out, and then another like 10, 20 minutes go by, and we're just like, where the fuck is Mandy? Where did he go? I, I know Ed has the <laughs> messages somewhere, because it was no, probably I nearly do. an hour before <laughs> before it fell apart. I, I, started, yeah, I, 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 I did it. I wasn't checking my phone at all, because I have excellent recording etiquette. And then, like... I, I also start questioning along with Julian, where, where the fuck is Mandy? <laughs> the, and no, I, I gotta tell the uh, uh, I gotta tell the moment, the big reveal. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'm gonna pull up the messages real okay. quick so we could, so we guys could see. Oh. <laughs> I, I forget what insult did you call me? Did you call me a fucker? I, have to I don't, I don't remember. I just remember. I don't know what I can do. Just control F hiding. I'm sure it'll come up if you do that. <laughs> just just, a, just that a quick side note. Oh, no, too. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> like, a, like a side note, too, is during all okay. of this while they're setting up for recording, I like peeked. I was like looking for Mandy, too, just to like check up on everybody because I was stone cold sober. And I just see like a pile of blankets. No, 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 no. Brandon, Brandon, save out. that. Save oh, that. no. Okay. <laughs> save that. I, That's I, the best part. I, I, okay. I get I get like so I check my phone after I'm like, where the fuck is Mandy? And I just see texts from Mandy that say Julian will have no idea. And it's like <laughs> and it's like a picture of I think it's it's just all white. I could barely it looks like a big fucking marshmallow and then it's just five minutes later the I think it's a pillow five yeah, minutes later another text saying shh i'm too far in now don't blow my cover i hear you plotting ed <laughs> fuck you <laughs> What the fuck? Ed had nothing what to do with fuck? this, by the way. I think Maggie might have, I think I heard, uh, might yeah, have heard Brandon and deep thought it was Ed. The covers, so I thought I heard Ed going like, oh, blanket. I'm like, Ed's ratting me out. <laughs> so back to our perspective. After I'm done recording and Mandy had been sitting under a pile of pillows for like an hour, Brendan and I start looking for him and eventually... <laughs> Just go back to the room where we where we had done the first recording and see this very very large human sized pile of, of bedding directly next to the bed that is slowly breathing and we think oh okay got it <laughs> <laughs> so stupid and I still like, stayed on the hell shit there. I did when I was eight. <laughs> I was 50 50, like, just let this happen until Mandy comes out on his yeah, own. No, but the I other party was like, I, was I like, wanted to run this? up and start, like, shaking the blanket and yelling, Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> I, I, I really wish we had just left him there, see how long it would have taken before yeah. we gave up. <laughs> Did you just fall asleep under there? No, I was just, like, waiting. For like an you hour so long they finished at this point, and were leaving. I can't. At this, Ed and I had taken edibles and they had kicked in and I was pretty drunk. So I was just like uh, giggling under the blankets for an I hour. I cannot stress to you, did you how hear, obvious did you, hear him you while looked you were from recording? the outside, Mandy. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure it was so you, not well hidden. No, all. it's like I looked and immediately I'm like, oh, okay. He's right there. Like, like if we had gone in there and record, there. it wouldn't have I I would have known immediately. It's the only reason I didn't find out is because I didn't re-enter the room at any point. I just, I'm just like very impressed by how long you kept the bit up because like by minute one, I would have been sweating my ass off and I would have said, this isn't worth it. Oh, it was yeah, that so room was so hot. There, dude. Yeah. I don't know how you did that. Well, like, I remember, yeah, because I was the steaming. rooms had no AC. Yeah. I mean, when I came out, I'd been under there for about an hour. So I was quite fucking drenched in sweat. <laughs> That's right. Because I remember when I came out, it's like, okay, I'm, I have all sorts of stuff in my system. I'm out of the blankets. I've been sweating. So we're coming out, and like you were talking to Kat. Wait, bleep that. Maybe. I don't care. I don't know if she has a name. <laughs> I, I, I that is coming on, on an episode. 
Yeah. Oh, it's fine then. Because she turned around and she looked at me. She Her eyes got so fucking wide because she was alarmed. <laughs> like I stumbled into the kitchen and then you went, wow, what happened? You look like shit. <laughs> Maybe. You, what is that? You were wearing the blanket. You came out Was and you I? kept the blanket yeah. on. Oh, I don't remember that. That explains a lot more. Of the you were like dra- you were wearing it, you were wearing it like a cape. You looked. Oh, oh that wait, explains I way more of the reaction. Remember, you, you I vaguely like, like, remember you that. You looked like crackhead Moses. <laughs> crackhead <laughs> Moses. <laughs> oh fuck! I, Dude, I'm remembering the blanket fuck. now. That explains so much more of the reaction I got from people. <laughs> I was fucking like mingling with that blanket. You were. <laughs> <laughs> you kept it on for a good while. In fact, I think you kept it until you crashed again and like went to sleep for real. You just used that blanket instead of the one that yeah, was you on used your bed. Like oh, that's t- so possible. You used it like a toga, like for <laughs> the rest of like, the oh, day. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, like, you just never let it go. Just oh, you studied architecture. That's cool. I'm just like, <laughs> going around talking to people. I do unaware. remember that now. And that's wild that I remember that considering how fucked I was. I have so little memory God of damn. post-recording that night. Yeah, same. I just that's why snippets. that episode just ends so abruptly. No, that, that episode, it, I love how abruptly it ends. It's just a car crash. It's so it good. It literally ends with, it ends with me going like, I love you guys. <laughs> and then everybody stopped using their microphones and just started being like, no, I love you. <laughs> then I just remember like the whole recording. I like sat distance. next to Mandy and I just kept moving his mic. Like, 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 like yeah, yeah. Mine kept fucking drifting. I, five minutes into us <laughs> recording that one, I jumped in the bed with Julian and we just started like making yeah, out. That's true. I that's true. <laughs> Dude, there's I was, so much editing that went into that one. Oh, dude, boy. I, 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 was, I, was and I so had our little secrets. So whenever we looked locked eyes, we just start fucking laughing, <laughs> which was really disrupting a lot. Yeah, I'm <laughs> surprised David made any sense out of that because being there, like, and remembering how that went, it was, it was impossible. It was, a catas- it, it was just a catastrophe. Yeah, but you, remembering how it went, but you're remembering how it went while you were just. Fuck, David. I was sober, so it's immediately. Wor- no, you I had a, maybe a couple drinks in me tops. I was not one of the fucked. So up you weren't. I was not one of the fucked up ones there. <laughs> Brandon and I were You're like the lying. ones who were most grounded during that. Thing. I was stone cold Brandon sober. Was very yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah. Brandon I was, was very like, alert. move I your had, microphone. Stop having a side conversation. Yeah. Let's. I was like, let's get this pony going. I let's had, try like, to make it legible. Cider. I was like not. I, I was very n- normal. I think. I I had shotgunned a beard before. I was I was I, I, I was in. so pissed, and I get why you did it, obviously. But like a lot of the cross talk that was happening, that Brendan was rightly trying to shut down during that recording, had me fucking dying. Like, oh, dude, yeah, we were we are very funny guys. I agree with you on that we're one. So Ed. funny guys, good job. <laughs> uh, there were, I I, good I job, have guys. absolutely zero memory of what we were talking about. The only bit but I, I remember, remember having giggles. The only bit I remember Ed is whenever David said something vaguely racist that he cut out of the final version, and then Ed, Ed, you you what? and me both looking at each other, pogging, and me being like, "Dude, he says what we're all thinking," and then like <laughs> two seconds of silence, what? and then I lean back over Wait, and I what say. Did I Un- uh, as long as what we are thinking is the N word, and then you just bust out <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Wait, what? What the fuck are you talking about, <laughs> David? I guarantee I, you I that's in there. Go back and re-listen to it. I also, I also have a faint recollection did, of every once in a while when somebody I, else I was think talking. I said something that might have been sketchy, I, it, it but it was not like a gay slur. related. But we just took it and ran with it, and just decided that you were, uh, gay, you were, you, you just hated my minorities braces whenever somebody had been talking for a while and then they drop like a random whenever a noun would be like emphasized i would turn to i i faintly remember turning to julian and sometimes going you can't call them that anymore (laughs) (laughs) i do remember that i don't remember any of that because you would not talk in your you wouldn't talk in your mic so i don't think any of it was picked up we, we would just we were just having a chat this guy's yeah, I, being I kept looking around the room like a disappointed dad at a homecoming dance. <laughs> Very faintly, just like, you can't call it. <laughs> <laughs> Good Holy times. shit. That was fun. Very fun times. Uh, next time, where do we go? Uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking, let's tailgate at a fucking... Ooh, 
let's tailgate it. Are next you suggesting fucking, that we record um, an entire podcast while tailgating someone on the highway? Oh, m- is no. that a tradition <laughs> no. that has to be recorded in the most awful environment that gets worse every year? That's we, that's a really like good tradition. I love be, that. We should we should we should record in like a parking lot of like a fast food place. <laughs> let's do a spelunking trip and record in a cave somewhere. No, I was gonna no, say, like, oh David, I like the descent. Think about that. Think think about like all the weird fucked shit that would happen. Like Im- imagine if mid recording someone t- tells us to leave because that would we're be loitering. So funny. <laughs> or no, mid recording yeah, we get a side doing, quest. <laughs> yeah, gonna start doing podcast challenges. See how long we can record in a McDonald's oh before God. getting kicked out. I don't think we. <laughs> I don't think we would Dude, get kicked out. I don't think out. we'd, don't think think so we'd get fun. kicked out. Yeah, we'd I mean, have it would just to be really, us having I, a conversation I, with. Yeah, you have, yeah, you you have to really be like obnoxious and loud and awful. yeah like maybe, Trust me. maybe if we, we went would to, get I kicked worked out at a, dude when i worked at a fucking mcdonald's like fucking in high school or whatever like the, the people would not get kicked out for being loud yeah. and rowdy that shit was just not, maybe if oh, we no, went i'm gonna to get like, kicked out like, because of my sexy care. grimace costume i think maybe if we went to like oh, an that. applebee's or something and we got drunk then maybe they would ask us to leave but like oh my god that, that's Me about slamming it. the table yelling more mozzarella sticks more mozzarella sticks <laughs> oh my speed. god dude can we do a challenge where we go to applebee's and applesby and do just a like recording how and we would we only get mozzarella <laughs> yeah, just, oh my and God. we try to eat as bit. many mozzarella sticks as <laughs> yeah, but it's Why funny. Not? that's that, uh, wait wait wait, 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 wait. Dumb. I, I want the, so, the, the one stipulation PSD would be that we have to eat into the microphones no exceptions <laughs> oh my God. I, I need to ask does america do the thing where like your mcdonald's like the sauce is free like if you get ketchup with your fries is that free yeah. it's free but they'll, they'll make uh, you feel bad for it and like make faces at you okay some can we just go to a mcdonald's and just eat ketchup like the whole time of recording (laughs) (laughs) see how long it takes until we vomit guys when i worked (laughs) at taco bell uh people would go in there and they would steal the sauce packets when they thought we weren't looking they would just like start like grabbing them by the fistful and shoving them into their pockets and their purse and then just like (laughs) leaving it up their ass boss will be happy about this Oh, the boss, boss wasn't wasn't happy big about sauce. It. The boss actually no, no, was in like their pissed. boss. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> they're in the fucking barbecue oh, sauce smuggling we... business. No, all I know is that my boss was pissed about it. Wait, but don't we got to do fucking guy questions? questions? Oh wait, no, I, I have a, I have a, I have one, I have one, I have, have one. one. You have one, you have one, you have one, you have one. Hey, this is the Patreon question. Hi, wait, everyone. wait, you, holy now shit, we're listening to the look, Patreon there's some questions. pregnant girl lying on the ground here. She looks like a crack whore, but damn, I think Mr. she's Hollywood gonna die. Hollywood comes up to you with an unlimited budget to remaster <laughs> one movie with a cast of your choice. Which movie do you cast? <laughs> wait, who said that? I forgot about it. Um, who, yeah, boy, who said Gustavo that? was the one to say this. Ooh, Gustavo. <laughs> I uh, forgot uh, about uh, it. Oh. You fucking dick. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you laughing? Nothing. Mr. Hollywood comes up to you with an unlimited budget to remaster one movie with the cast of your choice. Which movie and cast do you pick and why? I I will remake Metamorphosis wanted... by Shindo L and Fuck include off, Josuke no, and Okuyasu from Diamond there Unbreakable. It there it fucking is. I would. <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to think of a movie that would be incredible with like an unlimited budget, and that movie <sighs> is Dario Argento's Day. De- no. No. What's a what? crazy fucking movie that would be insane with a budget? It would an infinite budget. Uh, I mean, I, Master I'm guess, of Disguise. I'm guessing, right. I was gonna say oh, uh, either um, Sam Raimi's Dark Man or Oh my God! Oh. Yes, <laughs> that movie fucking rocks. Or, I love Dark Man. How about this? Give an infinite budget to Darren Aronofsky right before he starts making Mother. Oh Jesus. I don't think I, he I think he would still money. make a I think he would still make a piece of no, shit. No, I know he would still make you. make a piece of shit, but it would be even more psychotic. Oh, oh, I know. I, I saw like a I saw like a fucking post about 
I think a girl saying that she got grounded because she watched Mother with her mom and she started laughing when they were eating the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers for a bad movie. Oh, fucking cares. What were you going to say? Do, I, okay, I do know. I do know. I want... I want Peter Jackson to remake Brain Dead with a budget. Oh, oh that I would watch that would be the fuck out of incredible. That. Uh, is the question like who would you have as the um, as the actor? Like, yeah, remake the movie with and like, yeah, you pick the cast. Alive or dead doesn't matter. Who cares? You could, bro. It's okay. fucking current year. We can CGI them in. It's fine. Have Peter Jackson <laughs> remake Fellowship of the Ring with accurate. <laughs> Earth size. <laughs> well, they already had that. I mean, I was I was watching Rings of Power, and they have like all the the diverse hobbits now. Fuck but it. Okay, now fuck it. Like, I know. But now in the movie, like they're all white, so then that means something really bad happened between yeah, those. Yeah, I saw that. It, I saw the tweet that was like the hobbits had a really bad stain in their history books <laughs> between <laughs> Rings a of stain? Power and the movie. Whoa, a bad stain. <laughs> okay, I know. I would I would change Lionel from Brain Dead. Uh, for Vince Vaughn. Who the, oh my god. I don't know oh, why I you. feel fuck. I no, Vince I, you don't like Vince Vaughn? Do you see him in True Detective? He's pretty good. I, I saw him. He's pretty good and also he's a really good funny actor. I, saw him I think in, he would be really good in that. I saw him in the Cell Psycho Block remake. I saw him in Cell Block 99. Had, oh my god. And dragged across the Psycho concrete. remake has the dude the Psycho remake has a goatsy in it. What? <laughs> <gasps> Have you never seen the Psycho remake? Oh wait, no, it's the Vince Vaughn goes. There's a fucking you haven't seen Death Note. No, it. I don't think it's. I don't think, I think it's it was, his. Or it's like a double or I, something. I, it's. it's no, it, it's like Anne Hesh's ass. Oh, I thought Vince Vaughn did a what? her it's ass. Been so hole, long. What are you saying? What are these words? <laughs> that movie has Vigo Mortensen in it. It's so fucking weird. No, okay. The the Psycho the Green Book 1990. The 1998 remake of Psycho has like just at one p during like not I don't know if it's They're during choking. or like before the shower scene there's, there's, like somebody just has their asshole spread in front of the camera <laughs> asshole like there yeah the asshole I'm, I'm looking I would I, have um I would have 2012 Smosh uh, direct and <laughs> cast um, a remake of Parasite 2019. Oh my god! <laughs> Y'all are wild. Y'all are wildling. Like wildling, wild, wilding. wilding. I'm gonna give you bull wilding. Schindler's List. Oh no! I I want. Wait, actually. Uwe Bowl is always a good pick. Nostalgia critic starring uh, Schindler's List. Channel Awesome Schindler's List. <laughs> Channel Awesome so Passion good. of the Christ, but Mel Gibson has to do cameos in Doug Walker's videos. I, I'm that's, trying to that's think that's of a movie. I, uh, what's okay. a movie Channel with Awesome what's a movie? Okay, David. Awesome movie. Is hard to beat, what, wait, David, it's not Ghosty, but the, you do definitely see some butthole. All right. Yeah. Channel Awesome recreates the Green Mile. Oh, <laughs> oh man. What's a What's a movie with an ensemble cast? Snatch. Oh my God. Tr Channel Awesome Snatch Tropic Thunder. One. Oh no. <laughs> yes. No. Yes. Channel Awesome Ocean Eleven. Tropic Doug, awesome. I got you the TiVo. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, who do you think would play Robert Downey Jr.'s character, Angry Kirk Joe. Lazarus, in that? Oh my God! Uh, I don't know. Why? I want other oh, Joe to be part of the main cast too. I just had one. Um, I'd remake Requiem for a Dream, make Jared Leto and the other guy. Make him the two guys from the Dungeons and Dragons movie. <laughs> oh, do you mean the old one yeah. with the Wayne's yeah. guy? Yeah, the purple one. Oh guy. my god. And, and, with and random white dude. One of the Wayne's And brothers. then I'd replace the crackhead woman with a different crackhead okay. woman. Okay. So, oh, Ed! Ed! Fuck you! <laughs> you can have Boondock Saints with Angry Joe and Other Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I'm putting Pete putting Davidson a good in a question. mask. Oh, fuck. oh wait! Is that son of the mask? Wait, no, that was a different unfunny. Movie. No, I'm gonna put uh, Pete Davidson in the mask. I just want to ruin it. I'm just gonna go back and put Pete Davidson in multiple different movies. Dude, you know what's crazy? I saw a movie recent. My bodies, favorite bodies, movie bodies. of the year 
has Pete Davidson in it, yeah. And he's amazing in that movie. And now I'm like reconsidering everything I've ever thought about him. Because, dude, that movie is. It's a very my good movie. movie of this I liked year. it a lot. You've seen it? I've seen it, yeah. I enjoyed so it a lot. Even better funny. than Everything Everyone? It's so funny. No, but every Everything Everywhere at Once no, is my favorite I, movie of the year still. It's my, it's my favorite movie of all time, but my favorite movie of the year is Bodies, Bodies, Bro, Bodies. Bro, it's got Lee Pace. I don't know why. I'm a Lee Pace fucking stan. Okay. It's Which just movie. I lo- everything everywhere all at once is like my favorite movie of all time. But this year, I don't know why that movie just bodies, bodies, bodies is just stuck in my head forever. It's so fucking funny. What, what movie would you say would be ruined the most by being remade entirely by Channel Awesome? Ruined the most. I mean, I'd say Schindler's List. <laughs> I'd say I Schindler's say, like, List would probably be rough. Like Ben Hur or like Warren. <laughs> ben Hur is a really good some, one. Some sort of like some sort of like epic. Yeah, the four like by <laughs> three black and white Snyder cut, but it's all Channel Awesome instead. Oh, oh, that'd be oh, insufferable. Oh, Channel Awesome, Citi- Channel Awesome, Citizen Kane. Yes, they're so they would they would be so insufferable <laughs> about like. <laughs> oh, they can, they can, oh, no, itself. they would triple the length oh, of the freakout scene where he's just like throwing <laughs> oh, shit and then sometimes look at the camera and go, I'm still going. Channel <laughs> Awesome remakes in 1984. Oh, is that a movie? Yes. That was reading. Yeah. I mean, oh, they made a movie out of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, of course they did. Oh. They even did a funny with it in uh, the V for Vendetta movie. Because they have Sutler played by the man. Holy who shit. Plays Channel Winston. Awesome V for Vendetta. <laughs> Mr. Imagine Hurt? Doug playing fucking V. I feel a humble blood villain veteran because the carry sleeves both victim and villain by the business. This is I know Videra Videra Videra. This is my very good pleasure to meet you. You can call me V. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for listening. You might have noticed, but the outro song is not the usual one. This is a song I wrote for the game Cryptid Crush. It's getting a new update called the Graveyard Update, and it's releasing on October 28th. I've been writing music for the game for a little bit, and there's a few of my songs in the game already. If you'd like to go listen to the music, check out my Spotify at Sir Meow. And if you want to go check out the game, check the link in the description for their itch.io page. This episode would not be possible without the help from our patrons, such as Alan Diver, Ollie Oxenfree, Ben Krismanic, Beer, Bongo Crust, Boopulu, Brain Soup, Brobly, Butternut, Caffeine Addicted Chemist, Caleb Wallace, Chris Chapman, Christian B, Dreams of Ice, Ducky Madness, DX Studios, Eric Scott Gillies, Ethereal, Bang Jade, Generic Phoenix, Handsome Destiny, Harry Norris, Hater115, Inspector Seb, Inverted Van Man, It's Ducktastic, Jacob, Jeff Smith, Kaka, Leo the Geotech, Loudon Woodworth, Matt, Me, Mr. Shirt, Notoriety, Samuel, Nothing Worth Mentioning, Schizolingvo, Shantanu Batia, Smaggle, Snake Asylum, Spherical Nathan, Stinger123, Teague, The Big Gay, The Frost Ace, Winnie Rab, Will 9455, William Oliver, and Winchester Curse. Once again, thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you next time.